Damn, son, where'd you find this? feeling of playing music for me and it's it has always been from from the very beginning a feeling of of freedom of really being free and something that you can do when you're just in the moment i love music so much i'm so passionate about music and drumming i have been since i was very little and it's a feeling of being in the moment which is great not thinking about anything else except what you're doing at that moment and even then, not really thinking too much, which is really good because you just get to be one with your instrument, taking notes out of the air. I'm really into improvising and, and playing whatever I'm feeling at the moment. And I'm fortunate to play with a lot of musicians like-minded like myself. It's nothing better, man. It's, it's just um, being able to follow your passion that you found for me that I found early on in life that was really, uh, I'm just really lucky that I did and I just followed it and I love it and i loved it then and i love it now and my feeling and fire for music is not dimmed in any way in any little bit in fact it's gotten even more and more and um i'm just a really one lucky guy to be able to do what i love to do I had no choice to do it, but the, the, it chose me to be a musician because it's such an early age, it's six and seven. I mean, I really, I played sports and I did other things, but drumming was really the thing that I always wanted to do. No one ever forced me into it. You know, no parents going, yeah, I want my kid to be a drummer. Let's buy a drum set for little Johnny and put it in the basement so he makes it. <laughs> that's what it sounds like when you first start, pretty much. It, it really, it just, it really chose me, and then, and then I just really loved all the aspects of, of music, and, and, you know, I was a kid that had all the posters on the walls of all my favorite bands, and, you know, the Led Zeppelins, and this was pre, you know, you wouldn't know anything about these guys, you wouldn't see pictures of them, only like in magazines and album covers, and this is so mysterious and so cool, and look at the women and the drugs, and like, this is what I want to do, you know, I mean, this is really great. Along with the music, I just wanted to, I wanted drugs, sex, and rock and roll. That's what I wanted to do when I was like 14. you feel like this is really life-changing you know being being inducted into the rock and roll hall of fame was pretty cool i have to i have to say and that was a recent one i was a couple of years ago and what's cool i think about that is that there's only there's, there's not a lot of people that are in the hall of fame rock and roll is a pretty pretty uh young form of music and a real like time span you know 60 years 70 years to be, you know, thought of as someone that's that has longevity and, and is is um, inspirational to people and unique or or different or um, some way did something that was recognized by people and your peers for your career for over 25 years. It's nice to like Grammys and those kind of awards or shows. It's nice to get those. I'm not gonna lie and say like, oh, I don't, I don't really care about the Grammys. And it's great. It's nice to be recognized. But that's for one thing that you did, which is great. But for your whole a body of work, is was pretty. I was like, this is pretty cool, and I'm, I'm there, and 
my mom was there and all my friends. Like, I think my friends and my family were more excited than I was, which is really great because they supported you so much, you know? And, and uh, that was really cool. I met most of, most of my uh, heroes when my, my kids, you know, Ginger Baker and um, Ian Pace is a friend of mine, you know, Jimmy Page, Led Zeppelin comes out and sees us play. And you, you're playing and you look over and there's like Jimmy Page there. You're like, really? God, man, I can't believe it. So it's pretty amazing, but they, 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 they dig it. But once, you, you know, once you kind of get over to like, wow, that's like, that's you know, whomever, you know, like you're saying, one of my idols or whatever. And then they're just, they're musicians, you know? And it's like, and I, and I hope when people meet me, they're like, yeah, you know, he's a guy that I, I like his group or I think his band is good or hopefully. And But when you talk to them, you know, it's just, they're musicians and they're peers and they want to know like what it's like and what you do. And I kind of tried to be like that because um, the, there's no reason to be like, you know, really have ego and all that stuff. I mean, everybody has ego, but I think it's important to be, um, to be humble. It motivates me to keep, keep being a creative person. I wanna do, continue to do what I love to do. And I'm going to continue to do that as long as I have the passion for it. And um, I'm, like I said before, I'm fortunate to have other people that want to play along with me. And um, that's all I can do, man. I can't, I'm not really that good at anything else. <laughs> I'm okay on the drums, you know, but I just love it. I'm still very passionate about it. I still love to play. The thing about playing the drums or playing, and certainly playing rock music, this is mostly what I do. Is you're like an accompaniment. You know, you're 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 not. It's not a melodic instrument in in certain sense of the word. But the way that I play, I need to play with other people. So it's always been important to be in bands and play with other musicians. And I really um, recommend that you know anybody that plays an instrument to to sure you need to be able to be technically proficient and learn and take lessons and learn how to play your instrument. But you're not really playing music until you play with other people. But just for me, I, I think the human interaction is really important and I love that part of it. And um, it helps be creative with other people and bounce ideas out of people. It's just so much fun, man. It's just like being on a team or a gang or, or your, your identity. And, and I've, been, I've been in bands since I was you know, 11 years old and I'm 96. the first drum clinic I ever went to and it was in Ann Arbor Michigan it was Billy Cobham was the um, clinician Billy Cobham was known for big drums so he had a huge drum set and he's very technically proficient and plays really fast and his polyrhythms and his he's just he's incredible he's just an amazing drummer but I wanted to see that I, mean, I want to see it like up close so I, like from me to you and I got there early and I sat right in the front Looking at his drums, oh my God, he's got three bass drums and 16 cymbals and you know, wow, this is just like so cool. And he comes out and, and gentlemen, Billy Cobham. And he walks out, walks out on the stage, doesn't acknowledge anybody, doesn't look at anybody, sits down at the drums and starts going fucking crazy. <laughs> For like 20 minute drums, everyone in the room is just like, and they just <laughs> and sits down. Everybody's like, and you, you just saw this like amazing, incredible, athletic, more than musical feat. But it was just like mind blowing. You, you're just like, your face got peeled off, and he goes, Any questions? <laughs> you're just like, 
Yes, Mr. Kava, what kind of sticks do you have? I mean, what the fuck do you ask the guy? You know, talk about intimidating. I was just like, either I'm going to quit or I'm going to have to practice 25 hours a day to be anywhere near as good as this guy. But I, I've done some drum clinics over the years, and I remember that experience where, you know, it's important, and I like to do them. I don't do a lot of them anymore, but I like doing them because it's a chance to be able to see a guy that you hopefully you like if you're there and see him up close, not in a big concert venue where he's this big and it sounds pretty bad, and be able to talk to him and ask him questions and say, what's it like? Whatever it is you want to ask about equipment or the band or how did you start doing it or any of those sort of things, it's, um, it's, those are nice opportunities, and, and Guitar Center does promote that, and, that, and that's really cool, and I've done lots of them at Guitar Center. But if I can get somebody to go, wow, he really likes playing the drums. Chad really likes to have fun. And, you know, and maybe pick up one thing that I did or, or why, you know, or the best thing would be if they decided... I really want to play the drums and or I want to start a band. That would be awesome. Son, where'd you find this?